Okay, hello everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, um, but these are my favourite type to make. Um, we're going to do some super fast loading on your average spectrum. Um, the reason why I've decided to make one today is because I've recently got my SCART cable and I had some tricky business with some terrible ghosting. I managed to fix that and the screen's looking absolutely glorious in 32 inches. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's have a take a look at the specy. There she is. Um, average specy, you'll notice something odd. There'll be no tape loading in there. And we don't have any sort of um, added expansion ports or um, interfaces plugged in. All we're going to use today is a cable that goes inside the specy. Um, that's then soldered into the plate and ground where the normal tape input would be. And what we're going to use, we're going to use some tricky software. Uh, the software that we're going to use today is called K7ZX. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to load Chase HQ. And if anybody's ever used Chase or loaded Chase HQ in your Spectrum, you will know it takes an absolute age to load. It's around 12 minutes in total for the 1 to 8K version. And we're going to do some tricky business. And we're going to load it much quicker than it ever has been before. We're going to put our Spectrum just into regular old loader mode. Then it's just going to sit there and wait for that. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to um, K7ZX. If anybody's interested in the settings that we're currently using, uh, we're using 48 kilohertz. We're using the, uh, the average reverse polarity. We're using the ultra mode. Um, and we're using 2400 BPS. And this is the one of the quickest but also the most stable that I've found. So I've done lots of experimenting and this is what we've come up with. So what we're going to do, we're going to click play on there. And we're going to just see, you'll notice the sound slightly accelerated. But like I said, this is just a regular specy. Um, ignore the corruption that usually happens when you're trying to load a snapshot onto a real life spectrum. Uh, what we can see as well is if we go up and have a look, remember it usually takes 12 minutes to load and as you can see here we're looking at 45.3 seconds now this isn't the tape version, this is actually a snapshotted version from an emulator um, uh, we're probably loading in I think around 128k's worth of data uh, this works perfectly well, it doesn't work for absolutely everything but when it does, it's brilliant. And as you can see, we've got Chase HQ up and running, ready to play. Um, I can't get it any quicker than that at the moment, but if I ever do, I'm sure I will make another video. Anyway, hope you hope. Enjoy this super quick loading, and see you next time. Bye.